Hello, Sahaba Muntalebi. We are really happy to have you here in Makamat School of Music. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Um, yes, I started music at the age of uh, 11 and I started with my instrument called setar, smaller than tar. And after like three years, I changed it to, to tar. And that was, I mean, beautiful reason behind it because I got, uh, I felt in love with that sound. Uh, I want to ask you uh, about uh, the Persian music. If you can tell us a little bit about the uniqueness mm -hmm. of the structure of this amazing music. Yes, because right now we have like Iran and we have also limited uh, uh, this So before it was like Persia and it was a big in, uh, empire. But these days also we have a little bit of the sample of each country. For example, like Afghani music, Indian music. Uh, from the South African music, from the West, and uh, I mean, uh, East also, like uh, North East, we have like uh, other music and also uh, Turkmeni music. So that's why we are uh, in all the borders and still we are using those music as a Magong music. And in center of, of the Iran, we're just doing ethnic, traditional, beautiful Magong, uh, Daskahi music that we call it traditional. What was your purpose uh, the, to, ex to give it like this to the world as a present, mm -hmm. that people sitting all over the world mm -hmm. and study this amazing music? Actually, I, sometimes I can just feel it. It is uh, just, it's just come to me naturally and I don't see any other way around it. So it, I just feel like it. So I don't decide for it when I just prepare myself in front of the camera or doing it. So I think it is some, something that I supposed to. I, it is my life journey. Mm -hmm. But sometimes uh, when I just think about it deeply, I think, okay, we are going just to receive lots of beautiful gifts from, uh, from the source. Mm -hmm. And it is just coming through us and we are channeling it mm -hmm. and just give it to people. So sometimes we're supposed to just uh, use it as a source of living to just survive and have money from it just as an income. But sometimes it's supposed to just give it as a gift because it's already a gift. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to just give it to the people as a free gift. <laughs> mm -hmm. What will be your advice for a, a, a person that starts to study yeah. this music? What will be your advice? Yes. So I think we all need discipline at the beginning and we're supposed to just use it seriously, put it in our practice, daily practices. For example, I practice eight hours a day, every day for like long time, like 10 years or something. Sometimes eight hours, sometimes four or six, but it wasn't less than four. Mm -hmm. And that brings like discipline. So we're supposed to just have it for our achievements. And then we're supposed to just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. We need, I mean, technique is a tool for just come through our body and then we can release our voice from it. So music is our voice. Mm -hmm. And then we're supposed to just use it as a, just also the other like healing tools for ourselves. Then when we are became pure enough, then we can just bring it up as a channel, as a channeler to the other people. Mm -hmm. So music is so sacred and amazingly like healer. Great. Uh, my last question is about uh, what do you feel about the fact that Israel mm -hmm. have a school like this that mm -hmm. teaching all this tradition of yes. Persian music, Arabic music, Turkish music, Moroccan music, it, the name of the school is Makamat and what you think mm -hmm. it's the language of the Makam. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this in, as a Persian original, what do you think about this uh, thing? I mean the first thing just came to, to my mind just I got amazed and thank you so much for all the efforts from all the teamwork that you are doing all together and uh, this is amazing and it brought uh, in my mind just uh, unity. unity because you have Persian music, Arabic music, Turkish music from Israel and also yes. Hebrew combination of the language and combination of other people coming to your school. That's amazing and just please keep doing it. So grateful to just see this amazing place. <laughs>